Okay, folks, welcome back to The Long Dark, video number 10. It's not video number uh, 8, as I thought it was. It's actually video number 10, because since I uh, made the last video, uh, literally about five minutes ago, uh, I've realised I actually had two uh, videos that I'd recorded and totally forgotten about. So, <laughs> videos number uh, 7 and 8 um uh, have already gone out so uh, the last video was actually number nine and this one is video number 10 and you join me exactly where we left off because as per usual i'm filming it back to back so we are here in camp office where we stopped off we've done our little bit of um wood gathering we've got ourselves all sorted out uh the only thing is we do not have I keep pressing the wrong button for some reason we don't have much daylight left and we're not in great condition we're pretty cold and we're pretty tired and all that kind of good stuff so we're gonna head stairs we're gonna sleep through the night and tomorrow morning we are gonna go out and do a little bit more hunting hopefully so uh, right so let's do our pre bed uh, bits and pieces so we'll just get our calorie store up a little bit and we shall drink and we shall go to bed and we're going to try and sleep for um, let's do six hours bear with me on this one we're going to do six hours now do you know what I'm always very careful here's a little story I'm always very careful saying the bear with me thing in the long dark because it's happened to me twice now <laughs> I said bear with me and then there was a bear around the corner so there literally was a bear with me so I'm, uh, I'm going to be very careful about saying bear with me in here obviously uh, the one was actually in the whiteout challenge series where I uh, said bear with me went around the corner and there was a bear there the other one was off camera I was uh, I was actually talking to somebody in the room and I just, it wasn't even part of the game. I just happened to say, bear with me a minute, because I was still playing the game, and there was a, I got jumped by a bear, so that was a bit. So there you are, there's one little long, dark story. As we desperately try to pass the time through the night. Okay, so I'm just going to sleep for, th uh, we'll sleep for four, because that will get us slightly into the day, and hopefully it won't be so cold. Oh, we woke up fully rested. Okay, fair enough. So, we... Oh, why do I keep pressing that button? Okay, so, I'm just going to eat uh, some food. I'm actually going to eat a piece of that um, meat, which I'm going to take from over here. I'll go ahead and eat that. I allow myself one piece of that per day. And then all the others, all the other stuff. So, right, we are going to head back out. We're basically going to do the same thing we did last time. We're going to go out and see if we can do some hunting. We have our two pelts. One's now 36%, the other's 15%. And the guts, obviously, are about the same. So, very soon we will have enough to make the deer skin boots, which will give us a good warmth bonus, um, which is a good starting point. And then hopefully we can... Oh, it's still cold. Then hopefully we can uh, we can head out and try and uh, go a little bit further afield, possibly head through the transition area and off to uh, one of the other regions. Although I normally wait a little bit longer before I do that, but I'm kind of getting a bit efficient on um, Mystery Lake at the start of the game now, so I kind of go everywhere very, very quickly. I think there's only a couple of places we haven't been, and they're both fairly minor. Okay. In fact, you know what? I'm not necessarily going the right way here. There is a, an area that we've not been to called Unnamed Pond. Um, players of the Londo will be familiar with Unnamed Pond. Obviously, if you've never played the game before, you're not going to be so familiar with it. But uh, there's an area called Unnamed Pond. So I'm going to head that way. There's a hunting stand there, which would be perfect for us to uh, hide on. Because that's obviously what it's designed for. Now, put these feathers up. We use those to make arrows later. You tend to find the feathers wherever you find crows. And you'll find crows circling like vultures around corpses. Um, now, if I remember, I had to sprint past this corpse first time around because I had wolves around. So we'll check it this time. Okay, let's head over the top here. And we'll head down. I'm going to pick up sticks that I walk over. I'm not going to bother going off 
too far to the side to pick them up but if I happen to go straight across the top of them I will pick them up. Minus 11 degrees that's not too bad. I get paid just hanging fire for an extra hour or so just to uh, let the temperature draw, uh, come up a little bit. I didn't bring my bed. Uh, did I bring my bedroll? I might have brought my bedroll. Did I bring my bedroll? I did bring my bedroll. Excellent. So we may even be able to camp out on this uh, hunting stand, you know. It's a relatively, in mean, theory, a safe place to be. So we can... Uh, I don't think wolves and bears and what have you can actually get up onto hunting stands, but... I'd rather find out by looking at the wiki than find out by waking up with a wolf on my face, quite frankly. Okay, so we'll make our way around. So, um, updates to Long Dark. Well, there haven't really been any. There's a wolf over there, but we should be okay. Um, there haven't really been any since the, the last videos I did a couple of weeks ago. Um, there was a hotfix. Uh, there was a four nights. Over Halloween, there was a four nights of night event where the, the game went fully dark. Oh, well, that's so much for being all right with that. Can we take him out? No! We're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. Get off! Oh, yeah, little bugger. Yeah, little bugger. Am I gonna have to? Uh, right, okay, we sort our afflictions out pretty quick. Uh, don't care to. Oh God, it's all sprains. I suppose that's probably. Now, I have to be honest with you. That annoys me. Uh, because if you took painkillers in real life, they would help with all of your ailments, not just one of them. Right, okay, well, I'm going to carry on. In fact, I'm going to track the wolf. I've got two sprain wrists, so I can't use my weapons. But I'm going to track the wolf in the hope that the wolf will die. That's my hope, anyway. So let's follow the blood trails. This is a, another relatively new thing in the long dark. It's been around for a while, actually, now. Where an animal, if you wound it, will leave a blood trail. And in theory, you can follow this blood trail. And you may well find that it's collapsed somewhere. So you have to be reasonably quick. I'm slightly worried now, obviously, though, about the cold. That's the only thing I'm... As I was planning on heading... I wasn't planning on sort of doing this. Okay, we'll see. We're going quite slowly. There is a reason why I'm doing this, and it's because I want that wolf pelt. So if I have brought the wolf down, I want its pelt. Now it's worth pointing out this blood trail will fade reasonably quickly, so you have to try and stay on it. Oh, it's disappeared. Um. I oh know, we've got a few drops heading down this way. Still here? No, we've lost it. Okay, well, that's slightly disappointing. It's most likely because the wolf hasn't bled out. Oh. Okay, hang on, we've got it back. It's a bit spaced out, but we have got it back. Let's keep going. No, I think we've lost it. That's a shame. Okay, well that does mean then we have a live wolf uh, wandering about somewhere, so we've got to be aware of that. And there is a deer over there. So can we get some compensation for losing out on our... Wolfy prize by taking no because I can't equip a weapon and the deer has spotted me. Okay, generally speaking, this has not gone well. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to. That's really annoying. Can I equip a weapon now? No, because I've still got one sprain wrist, so I can't actually equip a weapon at all at the moment. That's actually really, really annoying because. Ultimately, in real life, that is not how it would be. If you took painkillers, they would help all of your ailments, not just one of them. Uh, so there's one for the devs to try and uh, sort out. Okay, well, we're not quite where I was aiming to be. Um, 
In fact, to be honest, because I went off on a bit of a tracking exercise, I'm not actually sure where I am. I've actually got a little bit lost. Um... I think I kind of know where I am. I think if I go... I think... I might have to do a little bit of sprinting here. I think if I go this way... If it'll let me... If I go this way... I will find... Somewhere... I can shelter in. Well, we're actually heading back towards Forestry Lookout. There it is up there. There is a cabin around somewhere, but there's also one named Pond, and here's one named Pond. So that's a good starting point. At least we can hopefully do something. Okay, here we are. So we've discovered a named Pond, which is where I was aiming for. Oh, that's quite nice. There's a boat. You really very rarely find bows. Awesome, and an arrow. Excellent. We have a newsprint. Okay. So, temperature-wise, if I duck down here, what's the temperature? Minus 11. I don't think I can light a fire in here. No. So the best I can do is light a fire down. down the I'm actually just wondering, can I light a fire underneath it? No. Where can I light a fire? Where's it going to let me light a fire? Basically trying to get this fire as close as I can. Okay, we'll go with cinder fire. Uh, cinder. Cedar firewood. And get this one lit. We are living on the edge a little bit here. <laughs> so I wasn't planning on racing around chasing after a wolf, to be perfectly honest. It wasn't in my game plan. I wasn't planning on getting injured by a wolf either. That's kind of ruined things slightly. Okay, so I think the plan is probably going to be to get this fire going. Hopefully we can get it to burn for a little bit, get some decent heat off it. Get ourselves out of that hypothermia risk. Okay, I'm going to bung that on, which will give us a good duration on the fire. And I'll stick a few sticks on it as well. That will give us a, a bit more. Duck down next to it. Temperature now feels like 7 degrees, 8 degrees... So we're uh, we're pretty good here. Uh, I just need to keep an eye open for wolves, but we should be okay with the fire. Um, let's see if we can just loot this dead dude, see if he's got anything on him. Corpses now don't tend to have very much on them, I have to be honest with you. Okay, we've got two wolves over there, that's not a good thing. I'm just wondering if I can get up on the hunting stand, whether I still get the benefits of the fire. I do. Not as much, but I do. We're up above freezing, that's good. Do I still get them if I stand up? No. But I do if I duck down. So I'm going to duck down. Hello, wolfies. I have to be honest with you. I was hoping to light the fire at the foot of the steps. So the wolves can't get up the steps. I'm not sure if they can get up the steps. They may be able to. They may not. I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to sit here for a little bit. In fact, I think I can pass, I can pass time, can't I? Let's pass time. I'm just going to pass time for an hour. There we go. Right. So. Hello, Wolfies. I don't think I can <laughs> I can't hold a weapon. I kind of wish I hadn't ditched those painkillers now, to be perfectly honest. Well, this hunting expedition really hasn't gone as well as I'd hoped. To be perfectly honest, it's all gone a bit wrong. There's no deer here. I can't hold a weapon anyway. And I have nearly frozen to death and been attacked by a wolf. And generally speaking, it's all gone wrong. I was also uh, talking about long dark updates and I've lost track of what I was talking about. Um, well, we may as well get ourselves back on track. It's all right. I just noticed that bit of firewood out there. I just want to go and get it. Um, yes, long dark updates. Well, basically, there haven't been any since the um, Four Nights of Dark event. 
where the game basically was completely dark for four days over Halloween. Uh, there haven't been. Obviously, there was a hot fix to enable that and then a hot fix to turn it off again. Uh, and that's been about it. There hasn't been any other updates. Now, I haven't read the forums. I haven't seen anything. There may well be announcements and things on there that I've not seen. Uh, but we are pretty much in the same, excuse me, in the same situation that we were in uh, way back when, when we last played the game a couple of weeks ago. So, uh, no updates, no nothing. Things are looking pretty good, though, I have to be honest with you. And uh, I, th I, I don't know, I'm really starting to like the look of the Long Dark. They've, they've really, if, you've, if you're brand new to the Long Dark and you've never played it before, you've never seen it before, I mean, first of all, Go and get it. It's brilliant. It's a great game. It is a bit niche. I'll, I'll tell you that. But obviously, if you're watching this video, you have some interest in it. Um, it is a great game. It's, it's obviously survival. It's simulation based. There is a story mode coming, uh, which everyone's pretty excited about. Although, equally, the sandbox mode is pretty cool as well. Uh, let's you do the. I'm just going to duck down actually, just get a bit more heat. Um, let's you kind of practice your survival skills, really, see how well you can do. Um, but it really has come on such a long way in the last 12 months. It really, really has. Functionality has improved dramatically. Um, things have been added, tweaked, taken away if they didn't work. Um, and all sorts of things like that. The graphics have improved phenomenally. Um, the the animations are so much better. The, the actual textures are so much better. Things just look so much nicer now than they used to. And it's constantly, constantly being developed. It's a Kickstarter game that really has been a success story. The, the team behind it really are working on it. And they are working hard. And they're making these updates so they really are committed to it. And I think that's cool. That's one of the big advantages, I think, with Kickstarter games. Is that they're being made by people who actually want to make it. Because they want the game, they want that game, they want it to work, and they want it the way, they really want to do it the way they want to do it, uh, not just banging out quick to make money, and that is the key thing here, the game is being produced by people who really want to make it, uh, rather than to make money, which is absolutely fantastic, and it, it's led to a brilliant, brilliant game, and it, but believe me, The Long Dark has come along a lot in the last 12 months, and it's going to keep developing. Um, so if you've never played it, get out there, get a copy, it's brilliant. And, um, you know, if, if you are new to the Long Dark and you've not played the older version of it, um, I'm sure if you do some searching for some videos on YouTube from over 12 months ago, um, a channel that I look at quite a lot is Accurize's channel, Accurize 2 I think it is. Go out there, have a search for it and have a look at, at the stuff that he does and... You'll see, if you look at some of the older stuff, how the game has changed and the functionality that's been added and, and things. Because, I mean, you know, some stuff has changed fairly recently and I'm still trying to get my head around it. Things like this researching in order to improve your skills, that's something that is new. So I don't fully understand it yet. And um, um, things like that. And the sleep system is slightly different. And I keep pressing the wrong button because the... The quick access menu is in a different place, and it's constantly being changed, constantly being improved. It's, it is just so good. Just get out there and get hold of it. Um, it's, yeah, I just love the long arc. It's a game that when I first saw it and I first bought it, I didn't think I'd get into, but I have. I really, really have. Okay, so, enough of that. Well, yes, but you have got a backpack full of water, so maybe not. Okay, so we're going to pick up this old man's beard. Always worth doing it if you can. Do a bit of crafting when we get back. Uh, right, so I'm going to head... Um, don't worry, we're working on it. Now, uh, let me... I'm going to pick some sticks. Now, unfortunately, I do have a bit of a habit of getting lost on the way to Unnamed Pond and on the way back. So I'm going to come over this ridge and see what's on the other side. Part of me is kind of hoping to stumble across Trapper's Homestead because I can at least take shelter there until we can get ourselves back to camp office. It's a really, really clear day. Um, okay, I know where I am. That's the... No, I don't. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. 
No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Every time I think I know where I am, it looks slightly different to what I was expecting. Um, no. Brutal honesty, I don't know where I am. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, we've got some wolves over there, but we're heading this way. And we're going to head over here. Over to where those cut down trees are. And the tree stumps that you can see is where we're heading for. Okay, well, we're back at risk of hypothermia. So we'll do a little bit of sprinting now. And just around this corner. I hope, because I'm going to look mighty silly if it isn't. Is the clear opening heading back towards camp office. And we should see the hut, the building around this corner. There it is. There's our little blood pool from where we got attacked. That's still there. And that's that's and then that's another improvement. That's another new thing that never used to happen. Um, I tell you what else is new. Really, very, very new. The hand and that kind of uh, first-person perspective. That is that's new. That's something they've only just implemented. Hence the reason why it doesn't reflect that we're wearing gloves at the moment but that's yeah, planned it's all going to be sorted okay so uh, we are at risk of hypothermia we are dehydrated and obviously we're still injured from our sprained wrist which we've run out of painkillers to sort out I could actually have put the sleeping bag down and slept on the hunting stand for a, a couple of hours that would also have cured the sprain but I thought well since uh, there were no deer around there and it had all gone a bit pear-shaped. We'll come back, we'll regroup, we'll sort ourselves out, and we'll go off in a different direction. I'm going to see if we can find some deer. Yeah, we've already looted him, haven't we? Okay, so... Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. There he is, there he is. It's all right, there he is. Okay, two options. Fight or flight. Can't... Well, I can't fight, can I? So, I'm going for Brave Sir Robin. Let's go for the Brave Sir Robin. Let's make a bolt for it. Hopefully my sprint won't run out before I get to the door. Best not to look behind you, just keep on running. And we're in. Whew. Right. <laughs> Getting a bit tired. Okay, so, first things first. Let's restock. Oh, we've only got two painkillers anyway. Okay, well I'm not going to use them because... Um, I don't want to waste them. Okay, we're going to drop into the workbench and we are going to craft some old man's beard wound dressings because we have enough old man beard lichings. I think we've only have enough to do one. Yep, yeah, we only have enough to do one, but never mind. We'll store the rest in... Uh, oh, we actually have some in the container. Okay, cool. Okay, well that's fine. That means we can do another one then. Ding! There we go. Yeah, don't worry. We're gonna we're gonna sort that out in a minute. Okay, so let's come out, and we're gonna drop um, those three bandages back, and we'll keep all of that up here. Okay, let's just have a quick nosy see. We've got oh, actually got some crafting items, so we'll just drop the feathers. Get rid of those. We actually now have a bow and a simple arrow that we can use so we'll, we'll give that a try next time out i think and that was about it we didn't really get very much from that trip did we that was a bit of a wasted journey but never mind um i'm still carrying three cameras as well so that i'm gonna hang on to the boat i'm gonna hang on to the arrow <laughs> do you know what that was really weird i heard a sort of drumming sound and I thought it was coming through my earphones from the game, but it's not. It's actually one of the hamsters <laughs> over there doing some some acrobatics. <laughs> I didn't realise. That was a bit... That freaked me out for a minute. Okay, so um, that was a bit of a wasted journey. To be honest, the, <laughs> this, this video has not gone very well, has it? We haven't really achieved anything. Um, so let's try and achieve something before we get to the end of it. <laughs> Survive the outdoors. Here we go. Let's eat, drink, and hopefully we can research that book before we uh, before we hit the end of the video. Because otherwise, the whole thing has been a little bit pointless. So let's eat, drink, and 
and I'm going to sleep for a couple of hours. I'll see if I can do three hours. Hopefully that will help sort out our sprained wrist, get our condition back up, warm us back up again, and we can do some research before we end this video. And then at least it's not been totally wasted. I'm really hoping it'll let us do it. Uh, we've already re well, we've already completed research on that one. To be honest, that probably means we can put that one in the fire pile, but never mind. Let's try this one. Can we do this one? Please tell me we can. Yes, and we only have to do two hours. And there we go. So we've now completed, and that's improved our cooking skill. And that's knocked us up a level, which is also a bonus. And I think, I don't actually know. I need to look this up. What differences they make? I don't know if it's in journal. Is it in the journal? Yes, it does. Okay, so cooking, we're at level two. Okay, right. Okay. So we get plus 10 calories from any cooked food items. So that's that's quite good. We're, we're part way through. Rifle firearm. Yeah, I have to load it and what have you. I assume when we have successful hits, that goes on. Okay, so what we'll do before the end of the video, we'll just go through these um, the skills because it's something that's relatively new to me. Uh, we haven't really talked about it in this series yet. So let's, let's just have a quick look. So skills basically is how the game now um, tracks your progress as you develop your survival skills. And I think as you level up you basically get various bonuses and you level up by successfully completing things so carcass harvesting as we harvest more carcasses successfully i assume it means it'll be faster it won't take us as long to do it as we go up through the levels that's what i'm assuming cooking obviously it increases the number of calories we get from various things which you know obviously is also a bit of a bonus fire starting it increases the chance uh, the base chance that the fires are actually going to light successfully and they also last a little bit longer by the looks of things now that was always handled slightly differently the, these kind of skills have always been in the game but they they were kind of more subtle they were called kind of hidden in the background things like your crafting skills your repair skills and things like that did increase as you successfully completed things but there was no there wasn't a skills list like this to show you um how it was progressing and what benefits you got from it so it's actually kind of good i quite like this where you you have these and it, it basically tells you so we're at level two fire starting that gives us a 55 percent chance that fires are going to start uh, and they also last 10 percent longer so that's improved our chance to start a fire successfully and the more we do it that's going to level up again ice fishing now i don't oh no we must have done because it's gone up slightly so we must have done some um, but uh, when we drop it in and we, we successfully do some fishing, we'll, uh, we'll, that will level up as well. Rifle firearm again, as we have successful hunting with it, that's going to increase. And obviously we'll then get, um, presumably it'll make aiming easier or something like that. Same with archery and obviously our repair skill. We have a 50% chance of a successful repair at the moment, and as we do more of it, that'll increase. So, um, there's all the skills. I'm just having a quick, let's have a quick nosy. Okay, so what we're going to do then, we're going to call it a day on this one. Um, I'm just going to, um, no, I'm not. Let's do the journal first. So, what have we done in today's video? Well, today is as the last one, the 28th of November, 2016. And what have we done? We've headed to unnamed. Actually, no. Did we? Do you know what? I can't even remember. I can't even remember. Headed to unnamed pond. Fought a wolf. And injured. Uh, tracked, but lost. The wolf reached the pond, returned empty handed, and uh, that's where we leave it. Really, it's not been the most successful video I've ever done, if I am brutally honest. Today, 
has not been very successful. Um, yeah, we haven't really done much. Basically, we headed to a name pond. We got jumped by a wolf. Uh, the wolf took us down. We had to uh, we had to head out, uh, carry on back to a name pond, warm ourselves back up again because of hypothermia, and then basically just come back. So we didn't really get very far. We picked up some old man's beard, so it's not a complete disaster. We finished researching all three of the books, so in theory they are now just firewood. And we can use them for that as well, now that we've researched them, which has helped improve our skills slightly. Uh, we have levelled up on our cooking skill um, with the aid of that book, so that's also pretty cool. And, um, yeah, so it's not been that successful, but hopefully next time we can go out, we can try again. We'll do a bit more hunting, we'll get some more deer hide, and hopefully we won't be far off being able to make those deer skin boots um, because obviously things are about to finish curing. So I am going to say thank you very much for watching. Sorry, it's been a little bit of a hyperactive high speed video this one but uh, ultimately a bit unsuccessful but never mind we'll be back with video number 11 and hopefully a little bit more success so i'm going to say thank you very much for watching and i shall see you again very soon